Welcome back. Joining Charles Bronson once again out in the wasteland. Going to do some more exploring now. Come back and finish this little shack later. And uh, do some more weapon modding. Stuff like that. You can see the Halloween decorations. Very cute. A lot of Halloween decorations in this house. But, uh, you know, we, we spent enough time here in Sanctuary. You know, exploring. And I figure we should move on. Yeah, we did that. So let's move on to the next location. I'm just gonna follow the road down to Concord there, as the robot suggested. Your Charles Bronson character. He doesn't look a hell of a lot like young Charles Bronson. Maybe it's the glasses. That does it, but yeah. It wasn't too bad, but I don't know. I still kind of like the Twilight Zone theme I have going here, so I'm sticking with it. Maybe later we unlock a plastic surgeon like we did in Fallout 3. Fresh grenades. Nice. Um, yeah, and as I mentioned before, um, remember you can open up the workshop any time in your, uh, when you're in a settlement, you can open up the inventory by holding down that stop button. That's, that's what it is if you're using a game card, of course, on the keyboard. Um, I forget what it is exactly. I'm going to open up that, that workshop, and behind this house over here, just before you leave town, you see this uh, chem chemistry station. So I'm just going to press A to select that, and basically just pick it up, and carry it over to where you want it to be. I just want to bring it over to... where all of the other little workstations are. added to the workshop inventory of materials. I don't know if I looted that. There's a bunch of mailboxes here that... Oh, oh you can scrap this. I was going to say it looks like... Hmm. There's some 10 millimeter rounds there. And then you could just pop right back out. back in. Yeah, there are disadvantages to using the controller for Fallout. Yeah, you get a lot of scrap from the cars and stuff. i yeah, go through here a little bit more. Later on, of course, scrap more stuff. Even scrap the standing trees. So yeah. Do I really not have any... Am I not wearing anything? Oh no, I'm wearing t-shirt and slacks, which is good for charisma. Very bad for damage resistance, I'm guessing. So. Let's switch back to the vault suit, which really isn't much better for damage resistance. Oh, hey. Drifter. He didn't have much. But maybe that drifter outfit might be better. Armor for me. So. Uh, I don't 
doesn't do much more for me, really. Just energy weapon resistance, I guess it is. I don't know. Here's the red rocket. Oh, is this... I think this is where we need our... My new friend? Yeah, here he is! Hello, doggy! Hello, doggy! Hey, boy! What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Yeah. Hey. They did make him very cute. Um, okay, so yeah. Looks like you can still trade and give your dog random stuff that you picked up. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, oh, maybe I'll be hungry or something. I don't know. Um, oh, he found something already. Oh, oh, good boy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was good. How you doing, buddy? Uh, hey, boy. You know any tricks? Oh, good boy. Hey. Nice to uh, so you can talk to him, cancel, once again trade, or tell him to stay where he is. Um, that's what I always did in Fallout 3, because he could always die, but I, I think they, they changed it, so... How are you doing, buddy? So, uh, so that doesn't... Charles Bronson looks pretty badass with the chef's hat and the uh, 10mm there. Nah, I shouldn't have gone for the head. Alright, you did pretty good there. Actually, no, you didn't. I killed most of those guys, but hey. You're adorable. So. playing with you. Oh, you did come. Did I kill these ones too? Oh, look. We have another workshop and everything. Weapons workbench, another armor workbench. This I guess this is the spot from the trailer. Um, so let me see here. Okay, I can't... Heads up. Open it up with that select button again. Um, first I want to... Wait there. <laughs> Come on. Okay. How you doing, buddy? There's different options. Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? Hmm. See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. There you go. I could say I'm about to find stuff. You didn't find anything, though. Oh, there's a bunch of junk here, though. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing this is my new settlements. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. It's a new settlement that, that I've discovered. Um, so yeah, I guess we could just start scrapping things from here. Traffic cone. 
ones too, just yeah, you know, just for the look of the place. That's these. So yeah, this is the new settlement that you find. Um, once again, I don't think I'm going to build it up too much just yet, but yeah, it's fun to look around. It seems like a oh, good chemistry station and everything here. Uh, these phone booths. There's never any shortage of junk in in a Fallout game, and it's it's very interesting that they finally gave you a chance to do something with all of it. Because um, it used to just be, you know, well, most of this junk you'd just walk by. I think I'm gonna leave that truck there because I like the way it looks. Um, yeah, it used to just be you'd just walk by a lot of this kind of crap and stuff, <laughs> right? And, uh... The same thing with, you know, clipboards and coffee cups and things like that. Yeah, I, I never picked that stuff up in Fallout 3. Or except for maybe, like, at the very beginning, because then you could sell them for caps, but really that's all you'd do with them, isn't it? Uh... But now, now, even the stuff that, you know, you'd think would just be kind of scenery, they really give you, uh really give you a lot that you can do with it. I'm going to leave the cars and trucks there. So like I said, I like the way they look. Um, oh, on here too. oh yeah, so you can scrap those separately there. place has a very cool door. And yeah, that's that's awesome. Oh, I thought I turned all that down. Um all this stuff you can just grab here. Um I don't think yeah, I don't think those are skill magazines, I think they're just did you open that door? Hmm. I should fortify this place a little bit. Uh, to all the... Oh, yeah. So these doors can close. So, the doors... For everything. Yeah, this... Well, except for these giant gaping windows here. This place is pretty well fortified, uh, door-wise. Is there a door over here? Yeah, but there's stuff to do. Seems like a good sort of. Um, this looks like a good sort of home base room. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep those for storage. Scrap. 
grab some of this other stuff here. Oh, there's a computer terminal to use there. Um, yeah, I'm going to store that. What's that? Oh, it's a tire. Sticking through the wall there. Um, uh, I don't think there is a bed here. So, let's go to furniture. Beds. And, uh, let's see if we have anything smaller. There we go. It's not a very big room. And I want to keep some of those places for s some of those spots for storage, because this, is, this looks like it might be a good kind of like home base kind of thing. Uh, sort of like a quick place to stop at. Um, yeah. That's, oh, right. Actually, while we got the inventory up, why don't we put a door on here as well? anything fancy. Uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, very simple. Just a bed and a door. And this place makes a very good sort of home base. Uh, I think if any of those rad storms come across here, we'll be, we'll be safe in there. And, uh, Those do look nasty. We haven't seen any yet. Well, I'm sure we will. Um, yeah, maybe at some point I can get these windows replaced too. I'm not going to hold my breath on that though. But who knows? I mean, it seems like a very sort of giving game. Sugar bombs! They still haven't added chocolate frosted sugar bombs. Where are my chocolate frosted sugar bombs? For those of you who are Calvin and Hobbes fans, uh, you'll of course know the chocolate frosted sugar bomb. One of the preferred breakfast cereals of Calvin. That really was probably the funniest comic strip of all time. Right? Calvin and Hobbes. That or maybe the far side. Let's transfer some of this stuff. I don't know what... Did I just eat something? And then, yeah, I wanted to check out the console. And then maybe we'll move on. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit exploring with, with uh, dog meat and see what he finds. something and Okay, uh, in case you missed it while we were speed reading there, you could always pause that, of course. Um, what is it? Charles Bronson reads fast. Uh, so yeah, going by that, it looks like... Looks like there's a cave nearby, or something like that, and uh, well, we could go check that out next time with dog meat here. So cute. 
I'm so glad we found them early. They really do open a lot, open up a lot to you early in this game. Uh, very impressed with that. So, yeah, let's let's save it here, and I'll see you next time in the wasteland.